Good morning, Gogoletu. Thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you, Sam. Nice to 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 see you. <laughs> <laughs> um, with all that is going on around us, um, you know, the global pandemic, um, the COVID nineteen breakout that is. How, how are you doing, considering um, this? Um, from the the type of business that I'm doing. I would say I had anticipated that things are going to be bad when the strict uh, lockdown regulations were implemented. It was, yeah, it was uh, bad because I couldn't, um, I do graphics, yeah. most graphics and photography. Mm. So uh, I, I expected things to be a bit slow. Yeah. They were for a month or two years. But after that, they picked up. Uh, and I think I realized in, in, in photography, I think I realized why. People want to be entertained. People um, can no longer go to watch movies. Yes. Uh, they can no longer go to socialize. So um, in a way, uh, the service that I provide, uh, uh, when the uh, regulations were eased, yeah. people started it was a way of 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 uh, entertainment for them that's awesome that's awesome so your business um was and is relevant irrespective of the the covid 19 yeah that's yes. very good. that's a good position and so um let's go back a little bit tell me about your um entrepreneurship journey how did get into entrepreneurship uh, inspired you um are there entrepreneurs in your family you know um what's your career uh, background you know take me through that um, uh, uh, process or ju that journey of you being um, a young and female entrepreneur um i am an animator by profession and i would say that I am from a family of creatives, okay. even though they didn't embrace the side of entrepreneurship a lot. Uh, my, 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 uh, I was adopted by my mom's sister and she, she was the one, she was a serial entrepreneur and she tried working. She would work and, um, but along the way, she started doing catering and stuff. So I would see her zeal and how she's passionate about this. I would say that we were creative. We are from a humble uh, 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 background. And um, we lived like everyone else because she would try and make ends meet. It looked like we had it all because of her. And yeah, that's, that's me. And um, in terms of me starting, I, I, I tried working for some time. Okay. And I felt like it's boxing me. Okay. Uh, it would not work. Uh, I worked um, for, for some people. I would try and change everywhere I am. I would try and change. I would always find an easier way of doing things. And I would approach maybe my bosses. But sometimes they would not take it right. They would feel like I want to be in charge. You see, so I felt very boxed. Um, I, I, I myself believe um, there's no box. You should not box, it, box yourself. You shouldn't even think out of the box. You should, there's no box. You must just think. So you must, I've liberate, had, you must liberate yourself. Liberate your thinking and your mentality and go wild. Yes, yes. So I've had, I've worked and yeah, I had only one boss that would understand me. She would say, think, just do something, do whatever that you want to do. But in most cases, it would not work. I would be frustrated. So that's when, um, uh, I, that's when I thought maybe I should do something and I've been always passionate about helping other people. So when I started the photography business, I hired a, a, a assistant and yes, um, when, when someone came and said, you know what I did with the money that you have given me? So that I, 
it 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 gave me a sense of purpose mm. it, it gave me i actually felt that this is where i want to be i i this is where i need to be it brought um so much fulfillment in me yes and i would i would i want to see other young people in the creative industry um a lot of young people um i don't know how to put this um it's not taken uh, seriously we have a lot of artists photographers but uh they are exploited by people so i don't believe in that um your your talent and your creativity should be able to pay bills so i want i i hire um young people so that i can give them an opportunity to to use what they 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 love doing and at the same time for for them to get money out of that that's interesting so which year was your business registered it was registered in the year 2014 Okay, so you've been operating the business since the year 2014. Yes, but I've been in and out because sometimes I would be scared. Um, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> thank you for your honest, thank you for your honesty, by the way. <laughs> sometimes I would be very scared because, um, see, like the equipment. I think as uh, if, yeah, as we have spoken, I think now I'm emotionally ready. Before I would be. My, one of my lights would die and I would think, you know, if I was working, maybe with my salary, I would be able to, so I would go back and work and try to save, but I've always known that my heart is in the business. That's interesting. It's very yeah. important that um, the art of the founder is in the business because uh, when everyone, when everyone leaves, um it's 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 you know, the entrepreneur the owner or the founder of the business is the one that remains so um specifically describe your business you know yes you you've, you've mentioned that you are in in a creative um, industry but specifically take me through your business what are the services or products that you offer okay uh we do more we do graphics um, I'm the designer, motion graphics and photography. I have a strong background in 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 motion graphics. Part of my uh, my animation studies, I did a lot of graphics. Okay. So under graphics, I do your corporate designs and your promotional items. I believe that a business is not a business until people know about it. And I see a lot of young people starting businesses and they have no idea about branding. They have no idea about um, how they should um, uh, represent themselves as a brand. And I think it, that's what makes a lot of businesses fail. They don't invest in these things. So I make it a point that I, it's not about only business. I make sure that it's not only about business, uh, but I try to explain to a lot of young people the importance of, 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 uh, of, of investing in, in, in the brand itself, how it looks, how they put themselves out there. So under motion graphics, I do those short clips you see for, for Facebook, those motion um, graphics. So it's a small um, video that you do and you, you, you can market yourself to your relevant target audience. And then under photography, we do uh, for families. I've done a bit of product photography. I was working with this other furniture shop. I was taking pictures of their furniture and corporate photography where I take pictures of, of, of um people um yeah i always say it's amazing how good and um good quality and professional photography can actually sell your brand absolutely so need those pictures for their website so we we take those pictures i've done um a bit of sports photography we did for the national aviation day the South African National Aviation Day. We actually had a lot of fun doing that. And I've done event photography. We do events, we do weddings as well. And uh, studio photography. Awesome, awesome. How many are you in your team? 
right now it's me and and my assistant it's it's just the two of us but i do get some freelance uh, artists let's say we have a wedding to shoot so i would need more than one photographer interesting and um you you have the technical skills to offer these services the motion graphics the uh, video recording and the photography, you are skilled in all these um, services. Is that true? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you are very smart and uh, very hardworking. <laughs> no, you are. Um, so before 2020, when, um, you know, the coronavirus broke out at a larger scale, how was your business? Um, were you making money? Do you have uh, paying clients? And um, how is the business um, doing? It was doing good, but as I said, uh, it was one of those. I was scared. I was also working myself. I was working. It was. I was working part time, three days a week, and I was doing. I was also doing my business. So, um, I think for me, it was a blessing in disguise. Because and when I got retrenched at work, then I went full force on the business. And then that's when I started seeing that, okay, it's actually growing now. Which year was that? In the beginning of this year. Oh, okay. So before 2020, you've been in and out of the business, um, working for others and, you know, uh, getting salaries and all of that. So the, the business... The business was uh, caught and uncalled uh, aside also then, if I may say that. It was? Yeah. So it was this year that you went full force? Yes. Okay. So, um, so you, you've, you've um, touched on how COVID-19 affected your business. Um, is there any other thing you would like to mention specifically? before we go into the 67 CEOs uh, mega pitch first? Um, at first it was scary because we had no clients. Even now it has, it, it has had an impact because um, we try to keep strict um, regulations in, yeah. in our studio. Yes, and um, I think that's the most hard part to try to make people understand that even though they want this, they, they still need to, to wear their mask when they come in and sanitize. But um, in, in, in overall, it was a blessing in disguise for me because I had to leave everything else, uh, not getting another form of income. I yeah. had to try it. And I've always been scared of doing outdoor shoots, but now I, I, I do them because sometimes I if it's a lot of people we don't need to be in a clustered place with the social distancing so i actually realized how much i love to be outside it's adventurous for me we go outside i will if you want i, I can send you pictures i've taken outside they are so beautiful the reason why i never wanted to take pictures outside is because i'm not in control of the sun and I'm not in control of a lot of things. So I always got frustrated because in studio, you can move your, your life. But now I, I want to go full force in outdoor photography. And actually, it revives, uh, revives the creative spirit in me. With taking pictures of trees and, and people outside, it's so nice. It, it, it opens you. I actually felt like I was boxing myself. Ah. <laughs> Which, so, so you broke your own rules, you know, um, where you, you, you did not want to um, see any box, but um, unknowingly to you, you were, um, you, you were, you know, in a box or you confined it yourself. But now, um, because of the regulations and your creative um, thinking came in to say, you know what, we have to find a way to do business um, while we um, obey the government regulations, you know, the law regulations and all of that. We still have to find ways to um, make sure that we keep the business going. And like you said, the COVID-19 has given you the opportunity to be able 
to um, uh, widen your scope and the um, uh, photography skills, which is very good, you know. And um, that has also given you another uh, uh, avenue, you know, to be able to generate more income in your business. Is that true? It's very true. Yeah. Okay. So, um, 67 CEO's uh, Mega Pitch Fest was launched in June. When did you hear about the program and how? It was lost in. Uh, I'm I thought it always existed, hey? Yes, yeah, 67 it, CEO as a, as a foundation um, started in 2017, but the Mega Fest was launched in June specifically this year to assist entrepreneurs, you know, um, understanding the negative impact of COVID-19 on small businesses where they could not generate revenue we thought um, it would be great that um, as a um, small business support organization or development um, foundation that we find ways of um, putting money in the hands of bank accounts of um, entrepreneurs. So um, the Mega Fest was launched in June. Okay, um, the first time I heard about you guys was you came to Whitbank, but because I was working, I wanted to attend. I think it was a three day thing, so I want I so wanted to attend, but I couldn't because of, of working. Then the mega pitch fest, I heard about it in a, in a prayer group, and it's an entrepreneur prayer group. We, 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 we pray for each other as entrepreneurs and yeah that's where I had one of one of the guys uh, told us about it and I followed the link and I thought okay why not so um, take me through the preparation how many videos did you record before you posted this <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing <laughs> a lot actually uh, okay. a lot uh, because I was waiting for someone to knock off. I did it late at night. We started about at, at 10 and we finished at 12. So I'm not um, a social, I, I, I can't speak in public. Uh, yeah, that's what you I like, like to, to be. Speak. Sorry for cutting. You like to be behind the camera and not in front of it. <laughs> so it was very hard for me to tell you the honest truth. It was. <laughs> So you recorded if, uh, if uh, you recorded a few videos and then posted the final one. Between the time you posted the video and when um, the winners was announced, which you one of them, um, were you excited? Were you nervous? Were you afraid? What was the emotion like before um, you were announced one of the winners? I was excited. <laughs> I was excited. I, I I missed the the whole thing, so I had to go through because I thought you announced at first that it was gonna be at six. Yes. Then I realized that I lost it, so I went through it, and then I so wanted to 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 find that part, but I was excited. Uh, <laughs> and when you were actually my, yeah, please carry on. Yeah, it was actually my first time winning a a competition, so wow. I was very yeah. Congratulations once again. So when um, you were, uh, when you saw that you're one of the winners, how um, did you react to that announcement? Um, I felt like God is doing a new thing in the business and, and because I have told myself that I am, someone said to me, you are the brand. So it was actually stepping out, coming out, um, uh, someone asked me, she said, you know, the pictures you took are so nice. I thought this was a white business. And I'm like, no. It's owned by a <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> as, if, um, as, if, as if great things can come out of a black female child. <laughs> yes. She's like, you are so professional. We need to know more about you. Even now, she just sent me a proposal this morning. She's like, we must do a shoot for you. People need to know the face. We must attach the face to the brand. 
Yes. So winning the competition was um, a confirmation that um, this is the beginning. This is the start of a of a new thing. So mm. it it restored my confidence and it gave me a, a clean slate to say, okay, I can actually start afresh and I can be out there. I can influence and I can always um, help other uh, young people to 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 believe in themselves. I I grew up. They know I'm a very shy person. That's what I would like to think. And um, I didn't only post the. I posted it everywhere. It was actually my coming out of saying, "Here am I. This is the face. This is Black Brush." <laughs> mm. I took a risk actually uh, with. Uh, I did it in a way that it's relevant, um, not only for the mega... The, 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 I saw it. Yeah. I saw that, yes. That it's relevant for... I can post it anytime, yes. And and people can actually know what who we are and what we do. Now, congratulations once again. Um, and I would like to add on top of that, um, you know, meaning you putting your face to the business. I would also like to encourage you if, since you have the equipment and the skills, I would like to encourage you to open a YouTube channel where you talk about your business journey to encourage um, fellow female aspiring entrepreneurs, you know, and, and um, you know, they will learn a lot from you, from your technical skills. And one of the impacts of that is also uh, people will be able to know more about your business and get attracted to what you're doing. And then, you know, um, that will also impact on your revenue, I believe. And talk about uh, being a female um, in South Africa, this month is Women's Month. What's your message for young female um, entrepreneurs that are already in businesses? and uh, those that want to go into business okay firstly i would like to say you know when we celebrate uh the the women month uh august as the women's month um normally we talk about women abuse and we we tend to dwell so much in that women are um, um we are more than that we 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 possess so much power in us, um, and we should not be boxed into that. We 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 are creatives. We we are bosses. You know, we <laughs> we we power we to, are power power to, power to female bosses. <laughs> powerful, and I just uh, would encourage us to 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 embrace that side more and not to always put ourselves in the vulnerable side, but to, to embrace ourselves as creatives. And, and being as creative, we, we are very, women are, are very powerful. And a, a, a woman can be small and make it to something big. We, ta we turn a house to a home and we can multitask, we can take care of children, we can run businesses, we can we can we, we, we can make something out of nothing. So let us let us face that and let us not be scared. There's too much light inside of us and shining um, less than what we should does not serve anyone. We should shine, uh, we should influence. People will be motivated from us. It, uh, if you want to open something, if you have a vision, open it. Sometimes we have the fear of starting. Start whatever you have, um, where you are, just start. I would just encourage them to start. It may be seasonal, but just break the fear of starting. Wow, that is very powerful. I think uh, President Cyril should invite you to give the... Um, <laughs> The commemoration address, you know, on the um, on the Women's Day celebration itself. So um, uh, back to sixty-seven C O Mega Pitch Fest. So you were um, selected, and um, the five thousand rand cash prize was paid to you. 
Um, tell us what did you do with the cash prize? I bought a generator with the money. Yes. And um, what is the impact of, um, wh why did you need a generator, if I may ask? Because where I stay, it was so embarrassing. The other day I was with a client and we, the power went off. We waited for like two hours for the electricity to come back. So um, it, where we are based, we have a, a problem, a serious problem with our electricity. You where, do not run a power Where is that? Where is that? In Malachin, extension 4. Say that again, please. In Malachin, with bank. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Wow. So, um, is this something that happens uh, often? How long has it been uh, the interrupted um, electricity? How long it, it, it's been going on? It's been going on ever since I have known. Wow. Especially in winter, yes. It's been going on for... For some time sometimes we would actually cancel shoots we would stay with the client for hours up until they decide no they will come back another time please say that area again it's emalacheni Bumalang. where extension you mentioned an extension earlier extension for Kwakuk. i see so i would believe that um the government uh, representative you know the Department of Energy and the rest, and specifically ESCOM, that will be, um, should they be watching this uh, to take, um, you know, they should take it serious that they go and, and um, do something about the electricity there because uh, it's impacting. Yeah, you were saying? Sometimes we would go for electricity for days, for two days. You, you will go without even, electricity? Even more, yes. Say that again, please. We would go uh, without electricity for more than two days or more. Wow. And uh, over and above that affecting the household, um, you know, it's also affecting small businesses that are running around. Um, yeah. Is that true? It, it does a lot. Okay. In, in and I, I, I always say they are emotionally abusing me because I would have anxiety because every time I schedule a shoot, I would think, would we have electricity or not? You know, so it's very hard running a business in this area. Okay. Um, so you, you bought a generator, which is uh, very great. And um, that has increased your productivity. But you mentioned to me um, earlier before the meeting, um, that you know that has uh, uh, also affected some of your equipment, and you are going to find a way to resolve it. <clears throat> excuse me, with the equipment uh, vendor. So uh, let's get into the digital uh, marketing uh, as an additional service from 67C. You're improving your business out there. And it's one of the things you alluded to also that um, as young uh, uh, entrepreneur and small business uh, owner, it is very key to have a digital presence. Why? Um, it is important uh, because you, you let uh, the relevant target audience to know that you are out there and what is it that you do. And it's not only that you should be present, you should be present in a way that really represents who you are as a brand. Please. That's awesome. So that's what 67 CEO is going to do for Black Brush. Um, we are going to over and above the 5,000 rand um, cash prize. We're going to develop a five page website for you so that you can um, you know, um, take your business out there and also um, you know operate beyond not necessarily operate but um, be known beyond your confined uh, community which is uh, the benefit of having a website or a digital presence so uh, it's going to be a five-page website um, it's going to be a home 
um, about us, services, uh, portfolio, and, and uh, contactors. And on the portfolio page, that is when we are going to display um, some of the work that you have done, you know, in the past and uh, uh, in the recent uh, months or days or time. And um, I believe through that, people are going to see your work displayed and you'll be um, attracted to what you do. And it is, um, I believe that it will also increase in the number of um, clients that, that, that come to your business and uh, impact on your revenue. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, I always wanted uh, this for myself and, and the business. It, it's going to be of significant contribution. I believe that it's, it's going to um, increase the clientele and put us out there. Oh, you're welcome. And once again, I congratulate you and also um, commend you for the courage you know, to have been part of the 67 CEOs of Air Pitch Fest. Teaching is not easy. Um, running a, a small business is not an easy task. But um, through it all, you have endured. Uh, and even in this uh, uh, particular season, you know, the COVID-19 global uh, uh, pandemic, you are still you know, um, uh, soldiering on, if I may put it like that. You are still um, consistent and you are still relevant. And I commend you for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I would like to thank uh, 67 CEOs for the great opportunity. And wow, uh, I am truly grateful from the bottom of my heart. What you did for us is, is uh, it, it, it's amazing. May God bless you and increase you and keep on doing the great work that you are doing. We, uh, it's not only about the money and, and everything. It's about uh, the platform that you have laid. It exposes us. And even those who have not worn, but it exposed them. And that's what we need. And thank you so much for the great ideas. May God keep on pouring unto you. Amen. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful. And um, I wish you well in your business. And we'll continue to support you uh, personally. I know what it means to be a business owner. I know all the challenges. All but most of the challenges because um, I run small businesses myself over and above being the convener of 67 years and um, the lessons and some of the things we've learned or that I've, that I have learned is what we bring into the running of the foundation where we bring CEOs and different corporate partners to support small businesses and not just support them um, you know by talking and by just gathering people, but by making relevant impacts. And when time changes, you know, we also quickly pivot and adjust and offer relevant support. And um, it has indeed been a great privilege, you know, to be able to, really, to offer relevant support to yourself and um, eight other entrepreneurs in this trying time. So again, uh, I congratulate you and I wish you all well and will continue to support you on the digital platforms. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, happy Women's Month. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.